Hello YouTube. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. It is really nice weather here in Dallas, Texas today. It's uh, the second day of the New Year's and uh, I'm working on the fence project today. So I am fencing off this septic area um, so that my dogs don't get in this area and, and get nasty. And then also, uh, eventually, I want to keep a buck permanently, um, and I need a nice area for him. So, uh, a couple of bucks in this big area is going to be plenty for them to live. Um, it's a pretty, pretty big area. So, I've already laid my panels here, as you can see. Um, these are all cattle panels. They are about $20 each and uh, 20 22 dollars something like that and then then i have some t-post uh five and a half feet t-post here and some zip ties for now eventually i will um, get some wire and uh, get this replaced with wire so it becomes more permanent um, but i love the t-post and uh, kettle panel fencing it is temporary and it is permanent if you want it to be. Um, I love the flexibility of moving it when I don't like it or making the bigger area or smaller area or taking it down completely. Um, I have quite a few actually areas made of T-post and uh, kettle panel. Like here you can see this is my temporary goat. Actually this is my goat nursery area um, that I have built. Uh, you can see over here, I have the wires and things like that, and T-post and cattle panels, and it's very simple. Anybody can do this. All you need is pretty much four things. You need T-post, you need cattle panel, you need some wire or zip ties, and then you need a post, post uh, I think it's called post digger, something like that. Let me show you what it looks like. That's a post uh, driver, post driver. So it looks like this. This is the other end. This is where you put your T-post in, like that, inside on top of it. And then with two hands, you just push it down into the ground. It helps if it, the ground is a little bit uh, moist or if you had a rain the next day or the day after that week would be a perfect day to drive all your post. Um, we have clay soil, so driving a post is kind of difficult if it's a very hot, summery, dry day because um, uh, the ground is too hard for me to drive it in. It takes a lot of effort. But right now it's very nice and moist and plus you know this is a septic area so it kind of stays moist almost all year round so it's very easy so i was able to do this uh the, this whole section from here to here yesterday in less than an hour so i'm working on this area over here i don't know if you can see the kettle panels uh and i'll go all the way to that fence already have a goat shelter in here um i don't remember where i bought these from uh, they were about 400 dollars each and they have really nice metal goat shelters they have actually different sizes and i've got this size and port a hut shelters um, and there was a local store here that was selling it and delivering it so I got a uh, you know the advantage that uh, here in Texas uh, we have several dealers that sell this Porta Hut um, shelter so I am going to have one Porta Hut shelter here and then I have two over there if you can see all the way on my side pasture I'm gonna move those and bring them here and I'm gonna refence this area 
also this goat area is kind of very small now uh, and I'm planning to increase the number of goats I have so I'm gonna remove this whole fencing area from here all the way to the chicken where you can see the that that area right there and then I'm gonna extend remove this all this stuff and extend a big area for the goats then and then have those two other for the hut for the goats inside here so they'll have three shelters to use the plastic one and the two porta huts plus I have this broken dog shelter that they use a lot so uh, you'll be surprised they love to jump on it and get in it and especially the kids they'll love it um, yeah so if you want to build a temporary or semi temporary fence but that works with goats really well I would highly recommend buying uh, some kettle panel T-post. T-post are about four dollars each, uh, five and a half feet. Uh, at least that's what I paid for. And uh, I have a agriculture exemption, so I don't have to pay any tax on any of the stuff I buy. Um, so that's kind of nice, especially the fencing stuff that I buy. Uh, and the feed I buy. I don't have to pay any taxes on those. So it's just $4.21 or $22 for per, per every kettle panel. And it's 16 feet wide, I mean long, and 5 feet tall. Not 5 feet, sorry. 4 feet tall because, I don't know, 4 or 5 feet tall. I can't remember. Uh, I think it is 4 feet tall. Anyway, you can figure it out. Uh, what else? Yeah, so, oh yeah, the gate. So I make all my gates from kettle panel too. I just uh, use a, um, I don't know, a tool to basically cut this kettle panel piece and I'll show you a, a gate where I can have it already working because I've been using it for many many years uh, it's nothing fancy gates are very expensive so my gates are almost free so it I'll just basically have a let me actually show you it's hard to not working gates but let me show you an example how I'm going to build it. It's nothing fancy like I said but it works great for me. So here is a T-post and a whole panel and this is the piece. There's another T-post and a whole panel and over here all I have is wired this one and this one. Uh, actually as you can see I just noticed this is actually almost out I need to wire this up otherwise they can get out from here technically okay but they don't try to do that and and I just clip them these goats with this clips that's it so you just clip from one to the next and Right here you can see it I've clipped this so they can't get it and and the reason I've clipped it so low because they push from the bottom the goats are very sneaky they don't ever try to come from the top they push from the bottom horses push from the top goats push from the bottom so just something I learned by keeping goats and horses together so yeah my uh, kettle panel gates and um, kettle panel fencing I guess I mean I would love to have nice gates and uh, all those things eventually I will get them where you know I have a nice uh, stopper open closed um, made of nice pipe fence but at the current situation, I don't exactly know what permanent fencing areas I want. So this is all trial. 
um, for the next few years. I mean, I've been here for five years, keeping the goats for five years, and I'm still changing. So, you know, it's always changing. And, and that's why this is really helpful for me to have a semi-permanent fencing type because as I, I like and dislike certain areas for certain animals, I can move the whole fence out and put a new one in uh, and reuse everything that I have except the, uh, the zip ties or the wire. You know, that's pretty minimal expense compared to buying the entire cattle panel again and uh, moving it. So, yeah, so I, I kind of like this right now and in the future, once I'm more uh, sure about where, which area I want to fence in what shape and form works the best for me, it'll become more permanent. I'll have a permanent pipe fence built in that area. But this is how I am doing it right now. And mainly because I don't have a barn and things may be different once I have a barn. The goat areas and um, other areas may change based on where the barn location is. So, um, you know, and <clears throat> not uh, building a barn right now. So, um, I love this semi-permanent cattle panel fencing. So hope this video gives you some ideas if you are looking to build some fence um, in your homestead or in your area and um, you know hope these advantages and disadvantages help you make a, a decision. Um, well you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for um, viewing my videos and hope you have a wonderful new year. Thank you.